welcome back to V Vlogs. I just want to say before we get started, I am so scared for the solar eclipse, okay? We're currently filming this on, what day is it? Sunday, the day before the solar eclipse. So I've been like preparing and watching all the news and all the TikToks and all the scientists and all the people being like, everyone stay in your house, close your windows, make sure you're in complete darkness. Don't let your dogs outside. Don't let them look up. Don't let them near a window. All these like scary things and okay. It might not seem scary to you if you're like outside of the totality radius, okay? But we're in an area of Ontario where we're right in the line where it goes into total totality. Well, we're at like where we are, I think it's around like 90% or something. We're like 97%. If you want to see like we full 100, ways away. Niagara and Falls. Niagara Falls. So. But we're like right there. So totality is when the sun gets completely covered, right? I'm not a scientist. I don't know all the words, okay? But it's yes. gonna look like nighttime outside for several minutes. And then there's the lead up where it starts getting dark and then the, it's like a whole thing, okay? My parents got the sunglasses that you wear. They got them on Amazon and I was like, be careful because people are trying to profit off the solar eclipse and make sure those things are legit. It has to have like an ISO code and all kinds of stuff, so be careful. Anyways, I'm terrified, so tomorrow we're gonna stay away from windows. We're not gonna go outside. <laughs> well, I thought we were putting a tripod out. Okay, here's what I think we should do. I think we should film our day during the solar eclipse because I'm so scared, and you guys can like see what it's like being in the area of totality. Not being in a house with you when you have a panic attack. <laughs> I'm gonna be panicking. <laughs> Anyways, speaking of the sky and things that happen up there in space, you guys, after I did a video about the red star, okay? It's this creepy red star that this boy kept seeing in his dreams. It ended up being this like creepy entity that like took him. Oh, Winnie, Winnie is uh, rolling around. She's just having a great time. Are you having a great time? Wow, she really is, look at that. Look at that. So after I made that video, we were getting hundreds of comments from people saying like, oh my gosh, Jesse, like we've been watching your vlogs for a while and you and Ty have a red star in the sky right outside of your house. So I was reading those and I was like, oh my gosh, is it an alien? Are we about to get taken just like the boy? So last night, Ty went outside with the camera and like went out to investigate and he did see what you guys were talking about, but you're gonna have to wait a second because first, this is a suspense. Uh, we wanna tell you guys what we've been doing for the past three days. Uh, we recently just got home from a beautiful trip that we went on. We went to Eco Bay Chalet, which is a beautiful chalet in Severn, Ontario. It's only a couple hours out of the city if you're from Toronto. It was gorgeous. So we did a little bit of documenting our stay and first we're gonna show you a tour of the chalet. So here you go. So on our very first night, my poppy made a dish called Palau, which is from the Caribbean. We always beg him to make this for dinner whenever we're with him. And then my Nana made her very famous flourless chocolate cake, which is always a winner. Day two, we got up nice and early and made some breakfast. This consisted of some gluten-free pancakes, some eggs, bagels, sausages. It was delicious. During the day, we had some guests show up outside. We saw some swans floating down the lake, which were beautiful. My mom and I played ping pong. We weren't very good, but it was super fun. 
And then we really just spent the day relaxing, reading, taking a nap on the couch. My dad and husband Ty found Crokino, I think that's what it's called. And then a really cool feature in the chalet are these framed black and white photos of the process of building the chalet. So if you walk around the house, you can see all the different angles of the house being built, which I think is such a cool idea for interior design. We ended off the night playing a game called Ransom Notes, which is hilarious. And overnight, we actually got a snowstorm. So we woke up to a beautiful blanket of snow. Look how gorgeous it is through all of the windows. Okay, outfit change because I'm editing and I was cold, so I threw on a sweater. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much to Eco Bay Chalet for hosting us. We had such a great time, made a lot of memories. It was awesome. And if any of you guys would like to bring your family or friends there, we're gonna put a link to their website down below. We are gonna link their actual website because you can save on Airbnb fees, which is awesome. So link down below. And if you guys end up going, please show me some of your photos. It's really great there. So. Back to the Red Star. Last night, Ty went outside with the camera and kind of just showed like the view from our house looking up at the sky. Some stars are brighter than others and we've been out there many, many times just shooting weird paranormal games and doing different things outside. So you guys have seen us out there a lot, which is why you've commented on a red star that apparently shines outside of our house. So Ty did see that. We got footage of it. It's kind of a blinking red star. And this is gonna be a spoiler alert. It's gonna cut the magic a little bit because it would have been cool if it was something super spooky, super scary, because you guys know that I love that. But sorry to burst your bubble. It is a radio tower <laughs> that is outside of our house that does shine red at night. So it does seem kind of creepy, especially after that video that I made. Unfortunately, it's not something scarier. We had to break the, break the bubble there. Anyway, as usual, we will always be on the lookout for strange things and continue to let us know because even if we can debunk it, it is always cool to see your comments and stuff. But regarding like wishing on a shooting star, I have seen a couple shooting stars in my life and I feel like whenever you see one, you're more like shocked and you don't really have the time to like think like, oh, let me make a wish. Like every time I see one, I'm like, oh, and I like freeze and like watch it go by, but I don't like make oh, I a just wish. Saw one a couple weeks ago. <gasps> Did you? Did you make a wish? No, because it's way too fast. Here's the thing, if you see something streaking in the sky and it's going You're scared. <laughs> that you can like think of a wish and compose yourself. Yeah. It's, it's gone. Probably not a shooting star. It's an alien spaceship. Comment down below if you've ever seen a shooting star and did you have time or the thought process to make a wish? I want to know. And did it come true? Because apparently in my video that I made, you shouldn't make a wish upon a star, even though Disney tells you to. Alrighty, anyways guys, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Go check out Eco Bay Chalet and we'll see you in our next vlog, which is probably gonna be about the solar eclipse. I'm so scared. See you soon. Bye.